You're listening to the Electronic Media Collective Podcast Network. Yeah, it's a mouthful. For more great shows like the one you're about to enjoy, visit electronicmediacollective.com. And now, our feature presentation. This is Jesse, and in the future, when a comic book movie comes out, it will automatically break some kind of record, even if it's just like a 45 out of an old-timey jukebox. This is Randy. In the future, all of our recordings will be just held together by duct tape and wishes and magic fantasy yeah. chicken wire <laughs> bubble gum mm, bubble gum this is melanie and in the future you'll get money from your likes and the little laughs and hearts and whatever random things you get on your social media it'll make you money i'd be rich Yeah, I mean, what kind of uh, payout does Instagram give over, like, Facebook or uh, Twitter or something? Cause... Yeah. Well, they, they have they have a thing that, that does that now, and it, but it pays you in, like, Bitcoins. <laughs> Wait, that would be good, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how much they're worth. It's, but... it's prob- probably not Bit. It's probably some... No, it says Bitcoins. Kind of thing. Oh. On the, on the, on the page. Probably like huh. point zero 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 one. But there's only like a million people on it right now, so that's not you know, not that many. So who's who are you gonna interact with? You're just like gonna go sit there by yourself and if it be, gets me a bit be funny, uh, huh? It give, if it gets me a bitcoin, yeah. Okay, go go start a, an account. No, I was doing this, dude. I don't know what the current rate is, but I was I was uh reading some news and the story itself wasn't important, but like. Something like sixty-eight point one bitcoins equates to like six hundred thousand dollars right now. So like, wow, what? I, it's, it just seems like one bitcoin like is worth way more than what I would think it, a bitcoin would be. Right. Yeah. But I get. I guess that's what like comes along with like a tech currency to where you've got you know super mathy. So it's point zero yeah. zero 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 zero. zero. <laughs> well, that's the part super of the- mathy. Yeah, yeah. Part of the thing I think with <laughs> with the site that I was looking at is that it it always goes back to you. So if somebody shares your thing and it gets likes on their page, it doesn't go to them; it goes to you. You know, so the like the original mm-hmm. content creator is always getting the credit for their bleep for their stuff. Yeah, <laughs> for their grolics. Yes. Well, somebody needs to pay us for our grolics, right? Okay. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. Hey, that reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, that's a good segue. Yeah. Uh, we have a new patron. We're still at three patrons, but we have another one. It's it's even better. It's even better because uh, our new patron, who is our number three patron, is also named Trinity. Really? <gasps> wow. Like, isn't that some kind of magic mathy thing, right? Ma- matrix <laughs> Matrixy. Yeah. Matrixy mathy. Matrix. So th- thank you. Yes. Th- thank you, Trinity. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Do we know this person? Or is this a stranger to us? He is my proxy friend. J- Jesse kind of knows him. Yeah, okay. no, no, I've met him several times. <laughs> oh, okay. I've gone to con I've gone to I've gone to cons with him. He's stopped by the table. He even drove up to uh to Fremont to draw with Axton and I. Uh, he he's a good friend of Axton's, so uh yeah, I I know Trin. Nice he's a good man. Well tell him thank I've- you for us. I Facebook creeped on him. Is that something I should leave in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I don't, found him on Facebook why not. because dude that's is what I super. Do. Dude is super talented too. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, his artwork is crazy good. So he's a he's a puppet enthusiast on our. <laughs> yeah, he is. I mean, he I don't is. know about in real life, he's, but he's the first puppet enthusiast. Yeah, and so at the puppet enthusiast tier, people get to like vote on polls to like give us topic suggestions which trinity we will hit your topic suggestion next episode yes but the thing is he's the only one so he's just going to be fighting with himself over what we talk about (laughs) yeah or or our show's just going to become the trinity show hey (laughs) hey you want to there we go he he wants to put in the coin he gets he is he's the growl right now he's the growlix one percent (laughs) yeah 
<laughs> he is. He is. He is the grass one percent. Jesse, you have all kinds of you. That that was my in-house news. You got all kinds of in-house news, though. What do you? What else you got? Okay, so uh, last episode, I think I mentioned that I was going to Constellation in Lincoln, Nebraska. So I did, and <laughs> and uh, there were you know like there was all sorts of awesome things there. Uh, one of them being Christopher R. Mim, and we got to table like right across from him, which that was just fun and and awesome, and got to like talk to him and catch up on some of the projects he's doing, but also um, underground Inc from the podcast arcade uh, network. They came around on, I think it was Saturday and uh, they did a Facebook live video and <laughs> Axton and I are awkwardly in it. Oh, nice. <laughs> like, uh, like I didn't, you know, like I'm, I usually talk right on, on the podcast and things, but he is usually very good at the table and so I just, I was going to let him run point, you know, and uh-huh. he was apparently thinking the same thing. So there's like this nice, big, long moment where neither one of us know what to do. <laughs> 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 so, so yeah, you can find that video at their, uh, at their Facebook page, which is facebook.com, uh, forward slash underground Inc three. And that's Inc like incorporated oh, I N C. Nice. So yeah, look for their live video from a constellation nebraska <laughs> and uh oh, it, like once we once we get over our our initial awkwardness you know we we get into our natural flow of things oh nice i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to watch that i will i will track that video down and put a link in the show notes to future uh, yeah i should i should have probably i should probably have already shared it but uh yeah it's been a crazy week since constellation mm-hmm. um the other piece of in-house news that i have for now well, when this comes out, it, free comic book day will have already happened. So hopefully you guys had uh, a good time, got your free comic books, supported your local comic book store. Uh, and then on May 12th, I will be on the Okama cast for uh, Okamicon, which is a comic convention that happens uh, July 13th, 14th, and 15th in uh, uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa, and will serve you know the greater Omaha Council Bluffs metro area mm-hmm. and it's, I don't it's like one of the biggest <laughs> you don't like having to share it <laughs> i don't i don't blame you <laughs> well i'm gonna start but it is a good con and for they're calhoun very good sharing a con <laughs> you are you for, <laughs> for calhoun a con yeah it's that actually a... sounds like a great name for a con it i don't know does. if it's a great area for a con or not but it sounds no. like a great name maybe we could do it out at the fort huh yeah, <laughs> you, fort, can build fort a fort. <laughs> you can build a no. fort and then have a con, but like, a, like a pillow fort. In, but we have Fort Atkinson right there. Can we just, you know, go in a, an old like building and hide and do it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and hide. So, so w- w- attendance is going to be slim, huh? <laughs> if we're hiding for people. <laughs> Pretendicon. <laughs> Pretendicon. <laughs> Pretendicon. <laughs> <laughs> that, we'll sounds, like, that sounds like a bad, like a like a Transformers bad guy, like pretend to con. It does, <laughs> but it's really just like a four year old with a crayon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh look it. out! It's the pretend to con. Keep him away from your white walls. <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, <laughs> not to derail this because Ben. <laughs> so, so what's this Okamacast thing? Uh, okay, so Okamacast is connected to Okamacon, and uh, they it's going to be a uh, like a television thing uh, where they what? talk about Okamacon. Uh, you know, like Okamacon's been running. God, is this the fourth year? I think this is the fourth year of Okamacon, and. Uh, they're they're having people that uh, you know that have attended Okamicon and Axton and I have attended since year one, so uh, we were asked to come and kind of talk about it, and uh, we will. We, we sure are gonna. Wow, <laughs> wow, that's all I got. You're gonna yeah, no, yeah. No, it's gonna, gonna be good. TV. It's gonna be good. Uh, Eddie Fossler will be of uh, Daydream Instruction Manual, good guy and and friend of the show is mm-hmm. going to uh, host a lot of the interviews and uh, looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. And I'll make sure that uh, Grolix will be, you know, heavily, 
heavily plugged. <laughs> yeah, represent. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you know, you know. Dude, TV, oh, TV plugage? Oh man, come on. We, we don't have the budget for that. Yeah, you got to get that in no, there. Right, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> there could be some URLs. I'd be like a URL machine. That's not a real machine, and I don't think it would be a very good use of electronic equipment, but I'm going to be like one. <laughs> what, what exactly does a URL machine do? I don't know. Either it makes URLs or it just like randomly spits them out like an old dot matrix printer. <laughs> not even just anything that random, useful. Though, you know? Yeah. What was it? Like the... Uh, was the Associated Press machine that would spit out news on like Good Morning Vietnam? It was oh, just yeah. like, <laughs> there's your, <laughs> there's your news. That's that's what a URL <laughs> a URL <laughs> machine is like, like the re, like really old school technology for something that is on the internet. I like it. <laughs> it's like a FaceTime telegraph. Oh. I wanted to jump in. <laughs> FaceTime tele. I wanted. I also wanted to jump in. I should have added this to when we were talking about Patreon a moment ago. Uh, so if you do happen to be a, a Patreon supporter of ours, you can now access uh, Patreon exclusive posts on our website. Podcast dot com. Okay. How could we make that any easier? Right. I don't think like, we could. You don't even have to go to Patreon. You just go to our yep. website. There's stuff there. Boom. Yep. Yeah. I want. I wanted to make a, a new secret website, but it wouldn't work. Yeah, she asked me if um, you could use symbols in, like, URLs. Maybe that's what the URL machine does, makes symbols for URLs. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super uh, useful so, for people so we that want to make secret websites. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to set up a secret website. I was like, I, no, I won't let me do a, such a thing. But, um, I mean, we can always set up just random URLs to go to a secret website. I don't know what we would put there. Secret stuff? <laughs> <laughs> like the hidden track on on a CD. Remember when that ha- used to happen, kids? When there was yeah, yeah, the kids track? do. They, yeah, the kids they definitely do. <laughs> yeah, the kids oh, yeah. know about it. It's true. Like track CD. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> I discovered those because I was too lazy to get up and shut the thing off, and then it, <laughs> yeah. it ran into it after like forever sitting there and like, well, what the hell is this? And then after that, I had to try it with everything, but it, most of them didn't have it anyway. Right. And you had the CDs where sometimes it'd be like, the I don't know, the 12, 13 tracks of like normal music and then like 97 tracks of uh, two second silence before. It yes. Got to the... <laughs> like, gee, I wonder what's I wonder what track 86 does. <laughs> like, hmm. Well, after somebody figured out that they could do it or that after somebody did it, it became all the albums. Yeah. Yeah. So this this episode is gonna have a hidden something. It's, <laughs> you're gonna download. It's just gonna be like a a four hour fi- uh, file, but we talk for forty five minutes and there's silence. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. And at the end, it's just ads. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Calling back to last episode, it'll be an ad bomb. Like, oh man. <laughs> oh, you waited for all the. You waited all this time. Here's an ad bomb. Happy happy sleep dreams. Oh, so I got. Uh, I got some good feedback about the ad. Somebody somebody said that it was hilarious that I dropped the ad there when we were talking about <laughs> it in the Transmetropolitan talk. I didn't end up doing the ad bomb. I thought about it. I oh, almost yeah. did it, but I was like, no, I'll just do a regular like that that's enough to sell the joke. Like Oh yeah. You know it was perfect. It was perfect. It was funny. I don't think I heard it. I'm sorry. It's okay. It was like right after you said something about an ad bomb, and then and then boom, there was the ad, and then and then it's Randy explaining that he's gonna he's gonna put an ad right after you said that. Yeah, it was right ah. after you said ads. Ads are terrible. You hate them. They're you know, and we were talking about them being intrusive and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Moving forward. Uh, you, you got other in house news, Jesse? Nope that that is what I have for now. I'm sure there is more, but uh, not on this episode. Not on this episode, listener. No. All right. Well, Sen, so I don't think we've talked at all on any episode about what we're actually going to talk about now. No, that, I, that I don't think so. I don't think that came out like I expected it to. <laughs> no, I don't think it did. What I meant to say is I don't think I, I don't think we've announced what we're even going to talk about this episode. So uh, nope. this is going to be Jessica Jones month. We yeah. somewhat randomly decided. Um, next episode, we're going to be talking about it. 
we're talking about Alias or Jessica Jones. I guess it depends mm-hmm. when you get to it. But uh, Volume 1 from Marvel, specifically their Max imprint. And Melanie, I don't think you've read this yet, but you had said something about... Yeah, well, next next month we're talk, we're reading a Marvel book, so it'll be a family-friendly thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. There are more... There are so many F-bombs in that book. Cool. I'm looking forward to it now. <laughs> Good. So we decided, you know what? Jessica Jones season two just came out. So let's 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 hit Jessica Jones season two from Netflix uh, this episode. And that'll be a nice setup for next episode's Alias Volume 1 or Jessica Jones Volume 1 t- discussion. So let's get into the TV show. Season two, Netflix, Marvel, Jessica Jones. I guess we'll just say right off the top there will be spoilers if you haven't checked it out. Right. Because might as well just jump into the whole thing. I don't recall how much we talked about the first season on the podcast. Did you guys enjoy the first season? I loved the first season. Yeah. Yeah? First season was solid. Good. Good. Interesting. Because I liked the first season, but I wasn't wild about it. I think it was my least favorite season of the Marvel Netflix stuff until Iron Fist. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. But it was still good. Um so I'll just go ahead and use that as my segue to say I actually like really liked this season a lot. Kilgrave was awesome in first season. Like he made it right. good. And this season's strange because there is and isn't a villain, you know? Like there is, right. but it's not like it's not like a Kilgrave or a Kingpin or anything like that. Actually, I would say there's a, a couple possible villains if you want to look at it that way. Yeah, yeah. But like several like, people do villainous things throughout it. But but nobody's really like out to do villainous things. You know what I mean? Right. Which is what's odd about it. But I think there's I... There's a whole I, lot of like um, themes though. You know, like uh, there's a lot of different like overlapping like uh, codependency issues and anger management issues and addiction issues. And like everybody's addicted to something in this show right now. <laughs> you know, at oh, least yeah. in season two, you know? And I think maybe that's why it like it was a lot of character stuff. I think maybe that's why I dug this so much because for one, like Jessica Jones is always a mess, but she seemed more tolerable to me this season. Mm-hmm. And it actually kind of felt like she had an arc. I I, I don't know. I like this season way more than the first season. And I was kind of not expecting to enjoy it as much. And I liked it a lot. And I think it, it comes down to, like you're saying, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of themes and a lot of character character stuff. It's all about like these what the characters are going through versus just like, you know, I don't know, crazy stuff happening. And even though the show is all about her, we actually get more about her in this in this season, I I guess. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if that if that's making sense or not, but like in season 1, we we just got to like meet her and see that okay, she's got powers and here's here's this trauma that happened in her uh in her backstory, but in this season we kind of get to know like okay, this is where her powers legitimately come from. This is how her up- upbringing was both with and without a family, mm-hmm. all of that. You kind of get to see that she was messed up even before Kilgrave. There's a couple things this season that that I think could have went sideways on them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think the big reveal that happened, that's got to be about halfway, maybe a little past halfway of, through the season. Initially, my initial gut reaction was like, oh, what? No, what? This is... <laughs> right. Ooh, yeah, yeah. This is not good. And But they kind of made it work. Like, it's still weird, but yeah. they kind of made it work. And then... The addiction story, the addiction like subplot with um with Trish, I think right. could could have went sideways, but she just seemed like such a maniac that it was kind of mm-hmm. super entertaining and also like not nerve wracking but like made you anxious because you're like she is in a bad way. Yeah, this is gonna go bad. Yeah, and you wanted yeah. to see her. you wanted to see that. <laughs> <laughs> like as as awful as that is, it's like you want to see the other shoe drop. You want to see like this is obviously not going to go well. So how how bad is it going to get? How bad is it going to get? And like you know, I don't know her name offhand. The actress, or I I guess I should say the actor. She she did well. The performance was kind of over the top, but also like 
very unflattering. And I think it's hard to knowingly for, for some people to push themselves into an unflattering role or to portray, mm-hmm. you know, be portrayed that way. And like, it just seemed like she went for it. And then also who, whoever did the makeup, like their, the makeup job was good because oh, she man. looked horrible. She yeah. Looked, she looked wrecked. Uh huh. And it was subtle though, too. Like, cause when she would, she would get a hit from, the, uh, the inhaler, which we've kind of been burying the lead on this thing since we're talking about it. Um, she gets a hold of an inhaler that gives, uh, that's basically pumping her full of nuke drugs. Nuke being, uh, what's his name? Abraham, uh, Simpson? Uh, some, Simpson, yeah. Abraham not Simpson, Abraham, was it so. Abraham Simpson? Is it's not I Abraham don't know. Simpson, right? That's, that's Homer's dad. <laughs> I have no, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that wow. would be a different. That would season be a different two, Jessica Jones. <laughs> There's a big twist this season. <laughs> big time, big time. Yeah, whatever Simpson. I can, I don't remember his first name, but yeah, <laughs> he was Nuke from first season. Who I kind of like. Once he they brought him in, I thought he was gonna like. I was like, oh, so we're doing the Nuke thing now. Like that last season was set up for this season's villain, right? <laughs> but, right. Uh, <laughs> right, but no. Our boys, our boys. <laughs> you were you were hoping for that nuke. He didn't say it once. <laughs> no, he, he didn't. He didn't say it once. No. <laughs> that poor that poor guy. He had one line, one good line, and he didn't even get to say it. <laughs> no, but that's like that was a pretty big surprise to me because you know he is a character they set up, and they touched on a, a bit in the first season, but like. If you know that he's a, you know, he's nuke, then that last season seemed like a big setup for a character they were going to, you know, really utilize later. And they didn't. Yeah. They, no, they, no. You know, again, spoilers, like they killed him right away. Like his bag, the bag of gear that he had, he got more screen time than he did. He was, yeah, he was just kind of a means <laughs> to give, give uh trish a gun and some drugs like that uh, that was his whole and they even disposed they got rid of his body they dumped his body like and then it's like well that's all taken care of (laughs) there was a lot of that in this season (laughs) what wasn't he also the character on something else recently maybe that's why they didn't want to use him because because he'd been used and now people knew who he was so they were like no we want to go with with something more obscure oh the actor maybe no, not the actor, the character. Oh, Nuke? Yeah. Wasn't he in something else? No, we read something well, like that. Yeah, oh, is that he, what it he was? was origi- he oh. was originally in Daredevil, and and we had we had read about him recently. Yeah, okay, we read maybe, about maybe him. Maybe I'm in... confusing myself then. I thought he was in a cartoon or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he seems. Yeah, <laughs> he should be in a cartoon. If they're going to do him in a cartoon, they need to do the whole like American flag face paint and the whole deal. Well, I was feeling like like Venture Brothery type thing, you know. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Oh, you now, know. Now I want to see the Simpsons version of this of Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> I I see him as like that Futurama character, only with the 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 flag on his face. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it's, to... no, it's it's no, it's no, it's okay. It's funny you mentioned Venture Brothers. I'm pretty sure there is a Venture Brothers character just like Nuke, just that intense <laughs> and yeah. It's not the guy with the H on his face, is it? (laughs) Oh, maybe. Maybe I'm thinking, yeah, Sergeant Hatred. Maybe that's it. Oh. Well, you don't want Sergeant... You don't want Sergeant Hatred coming at you. Our boys. Yeah, because he's a pedophile, too, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Hey, it's okay. They put him on medicine. (laughs) I miss Venture Brothers, man. (laughs) Venture Brothers is so good. Okay, we we need to get back to Jessica Jones. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. (laughs) So what what brought us down this rabbit hole was the makeup. And uh, yeah, so like when she takes a hit from uh, Simpsons drugs, it would go from her just being emaciated to her being like like healed and ripped and ready to go. I mean, there's a few moments when she'd get all amped up that. Come on, let's go. I, I laughed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. It's a little funny sometimes. Like it's a little over the top occasionally, but overall, I think the performance was good. And even when it was over the top, I'm like, well, yeah, she's like super amped up on like on soldier drugs, so she's mm-hmm. gonna be ready to go. I was see, I and was worried re- about that because didn't he have like three different soldier drugs he was supposed to take, and they had 
to make him take, they had to take like something to come down from the, that one. I thought like there was a white one, a red one, and then a blue one. And yeah, or am I wrong? No, no, you're right. So wouldn't the inhaler you'd think would be like one of those steps and she'd have to have the other ones or it would explode her brain. Her, her come down definitely seems pretty hard. So maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's why, because she went to like Insta junkie, you yeah. know? Yeah. So maybe the other ones and, and just purely going by like how it seemed to work in the comic books. I'm guessing mm-hmm. she had the whites is the inhaler was the whites because her eyes would go super clear. Right. Right. Oh, okay. And it, and in the comics, I don't know which is supposed to be which, but in the comics, like I remember him taking the reds and his eyes would go all red and stuff. So, well, good thing she didn't find that inhaler. I mean, what did you guys think of this season? I kind of feel like I dominated that aspect of the conversation. No, I, no, I I really enjoyed it. It's just it was a it was a more of a hodgepodge, like we kind of mentioned. It's it's no. It wasn't like a straight line villain, you know. Like the first season was all about Kilgrave. Uh, even though there were other things, there were other subplots. Kilgrave was the main subplot, but this one has a whole bunch of different subplots, and like every character has got their main little plot. Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Hogarth has like some pretty big things going on in her life. Um, you know, Jessica Jones obviously she and she gets a new um, superintendent in her building, and that that adds a new wrinkle. Yeah, every character had some big thing. Do you think that's – because for me, I didn't mind it. I kind of liked – because I guess it was a little all over the place, but it didn't feel unfocused to me. I kind of liked that each character had their own thing going on. Uh, like I have heard no like reviews or anything of this season. Uh, so I'm just wondering if – do you think that's something that hurts the season for a lot of people or do you think that's okay? Do you think people are burnt out on like a big bad? Well, personally, I actually didn't like this season as much as I liked the first season. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's kind of part of it. I think maybe it's, it's that, well, partially it's that some of this stuff was just not interesting to me. And some of it I, I thought was kind of ridiculous. The, the one twist or whatever you want, the big reveal thing that you were talking about, I guess we're not talking mm-hmm. about it, that, um, we can, we can, well, does well, that, what do you, you know what it is though? Mm-hmm. That was really ridiculous to me and I didn't really care for that that much, but I mean, some of it was Okay. But I really liked Kilgrave, so maybe that's part of my thing, too. You know, I thought he was a really good villain, and it was interesting. And I think part of it also was, it's it's like they had to pretend like everything was going to be happy for people to then turn around and make it unhappy for everyone. And I'm like, this sucks. Just do it for one person, or do it for a couple of them. Don't make it a whole big thing. It's stupid. Yeah. That's my opinion. So, okay, let's talk about the big twist, because I think it is ridiculous, but... Uh, I kind of got on board with it, I guess, just because I was intrigued by, because I liked how it played on, I guess, anger and also played into Jessica's like worry about losing control and being a monster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it is kind of ridiculous. It is a super comic book twist to take. Yeah, it is. So Jessica Jones's mother is alive. And not only that, though, because of uh, the testing that the doc, the the kind of hippie doctor did, like <laughs> changed her DNA so she looks like a completely different woman. So that's kind of how you get around. Like they didn't even pull it out, drag it out that much. But um, J- why Jessica didn't know it was her mother when she was first searching for her. And her mom's a a murderer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, there's a, a, that a horrible rage murderer. <laughs> Who killed her boyfriend? That was so, a weird twist, twist to put in there too. Yeah, it really was. But we know where her jacket came from now. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't okay. right. Oh man. Okay. So, yeah. See, <laughs> see. There's bad stuff this season. It's just I don't know. I guess I can. Over, I overlooked it, but because did okay, we need so the- one of the. One of the things that I was a criticism for me, I guess, is they don't they don't mention uh, the stuff in Defenders at all, do they? No. Like, like at all. <laughs> no, they, they didn't. They didn't. Defenders did kind of the interesting thing of like, because that show didn't leave her in any better place than where it picked her up, which I guess is kind of the safe move in being able to just like then kind of ignore it when the next season of Jessica Jones starts, you know, but it is a like little so weird. Many of that those it- characters that, that show up in this uh, 
season, though, were involved in or affected by that. It just seemed like a strange thing to totally leave out. I mean, they they didn't need to dwell on it, but I I feel like shouldn't they at least mention that this thing happened? Yeah, like when Tony Stark fought with aliens and then had anxiety, they they said something about it. Yeah, that's true. At least yeah, at least Iron Man three addressed it in a way. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's just yeah. Hogarth was there, and we even see Foggy once right. or twice. I don't know. I, I I guess I wasn't expecting it to come up, you know, hmm. but you're right. You would think it would. So her super, the super. Yeah. I, I kind of didn't like that guy at all. Really? He was too nice. Oh, yeah. That he's just seemed like too good of a guy. And it's just like, OK, but he's like an ex-con. It's like, well, for what? He he forged some. <laughs> he, he's a document forger. And it's like, OK. No, this guy's yeah. too nice. And I'm actually a little surprised they didn't, like, do something terrible to him, you know? Yeah, yet. Well, right, especially since he was, uh, like, part of her um, plan to leave the country for mm-hmm. a second. <laughs> you know, like, it, it seems like they would at least come down on him for that. Like, you were trying to aid uh, somebody that was on the run. I guess he's important because they actually wanted to kind of, like, leave the season with on a not a complete like down note like a downbeat um mm-hmm. ending like yeah, she was because... he was important to give her so she had like some type of happiness right because that was well, the only fa- family the only tiny bit of happiness in the whole freaking show at the end <laughs> yeah so is it over do you think this is like it for Jessica Jones or are they going to give us a a season 3 yeah they are i think they yeah i mean oh, i don't know i assume they probably would and they implied that once your butt got powers, they're going to want to do something with that. Unless everybody hates oh, this yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Or they could give her her own spinoff. I doubt it, though. Yeah, she's, she's not interesting not. enough. Right. Not on her own, at least. <laughs> it's Patsy. <laughs> I can't wait till she gets her Hellcat costume. That'll be rad. <laughs> her her pop song was awful. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was and so I terrible. Think- it, was, it was pretty bad. And cray, it seems, it, cray, cray. Yeah, does that was that a thing then when that would have been happening? Cray, well, that's an expression. Has it been for a while? Yeah, I don't know it. Yeah, it's not a good expression. <laughs> I mean, they didn't really leave the season on an upbeat because I know I mentioned that. Like, other than her new boyfriend, like everything's pretty terrible. Yeah. Right. So I'm guessing maybe the boyfriend is so that not everything is completely terrible. Mm-hmm. So she's got somebody, but uh, they didn't even give her let her keep the detective friend. Yeah, I know. Like, Which was the te- oh Malcolm? Yeah, that was crazy. It was lame too because they're like, oh, you know, I put up with your stuff over and over, but for us, no, not really all that much. It's been like a season, really, that you've been right. sober and around. Not even well, a whole season. Th- yeah, I assume some time has passed, though. You know. Yeah, but not for us. We weren't there for it, so it doesn't ring true to me. And defenders didn't exist. So (laughs) I'm just going to keep hitting that one. You know, okay. Yeah. Maybe somebody around her would bring it up, but I don't see her bringing it up. She's, Oh no, no, she wouldn't. She'd like never bring it up. Like Trish, Trish would like nail that to death. She'd be like, Mm -hmm. there there might've been a story there. There could have been a story there. I feel like there was a story there. Oh, that's true. that's That's all she wants is a story. Oh yeah. At least at first. Well, she wants powers too. So yeah. But in lieu of that, she wants a story. Yeah, and if she knew about any of the underground stuff that happened at the end, then, yeah, she'd be all over that, wanting to expose oh, that's... the whatever. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, there's a whole building gone now <laughs> that Jessica Jones was in. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it was just demolished. Hmm? <laughs> While I was at the police station. Man, the more the more I'm kind of thinking it over. No, I still liked it. I still liked it. I don't mind that it it kind of did its own thing. Yeah. Yeah. But then I keep thinking of like the Punisher and I'm like, yeah, the they both ended in similar ways, I guess. There's a big big horrible bloody thing at a like a carnival or something. <clears throat> what about the other like surprise thing? I mean, it wasn't a surprise because we all knew that he was going to be in the season, but uh I really like how they used how they did use Kilgrave. 
in this season. Oh, Didn't yeah. You? Yeah, I thought so. You, that was my favorite part. We actually rewound it and, and watched it again. And, and like the way that they use the lighting to you know, like really nail it, you know, it's like uh, was the first time that you hear him, like the the screen goes purple, basically, or mm-hmm. the lighting goes purple and you just hear him. And I'm like, oh, that was his voice. She's she's losing it. And then you full on see him and then she full on and you're like she full on sees him in multiples. No, he I. I guess that is like him being there does highlight the lack of charisma in any other character in the series yeah. like, because yeah, yeah. just it's... that bit, like, I don't know. It, I guess it's, it's a testament to tenant tenants performance, but like, yeah, I, I do agree. It was, it, it was pretty awesome. Just the little bits he was in there. And even like before he left, you know where to find me or something like that. Like made Melanie chuckle. Yep. <laughs> And she was like, what does that even mean? Like, like she had great lines. I don't know who's writing her dialogue, but her, her dialogue was great. Yeah. They had, they were having a, a banter be, and then she commented on their banter and <laughs> it was, even, yeah, that was even better. Uh, so I guess, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys, would you guys want a season three of Jessica Jones? I would. Depends on what they do with her. I mean, like, yeah, I think so, but I would like to see. I would like I would like I know, I'd like some creative uh, input on this. They should ask me what as they're creating it. They should ch- send me some some episodes, and I'll be like, "No, nah, I like the way that's going. Try this," and then <laughs> and then I think it would be great. I guess part maybe part of it is like I I found Jessica Jones more bearable this season, but I I mean she's not a very likable character just because she's right. so negative and moody, but she's very consistent. Like she's a very consistently written character and I'll have, I kind of have more thoughts about this that we'll have to wait and touch on next episode. Right. But yeah, I don't know. She's very consistent. You, you have a sense of who she is. And even if there's even a couple times where like, even though I didn't really care for the super, I'm like, dude, don't, don't get involved, dude. Do you know what you're getting <laughs> into? She's, she's trouble. She's one of them. Don't do it. Really? She's one of them. She's one of th- Don't dig into that phrase. <laughs> Don't dig into that too deep. You'll give me a trouble. <laughs> no, she she's she's yeah, it's like there's not dr- I mean, yeah, drama, but like baggage, I guess. Like she's obviously there's a lot of baggage there. And eventually, you hang around her, you're going to have to deal with it. Yeah. She you know, she did seem especially vulnerable this season, which is weird because she was last You'd think she would have been more so last season, but I don't know. It just maybe it's because of last season she was more exposed. Like I don't know. She did seem a little softer. Like she wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe that's that's part of her. She's she's opening up. Well, she was, and then you know, somebody killed her mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> her best friend, I guess, killed her mom, which makes it even worse. What's what's next? Do you guys know what's next for Marvel Netflix shows? I don't know. Would it be Luke Cage season two? Man, I hope so. Where's it at? <laughs> it's got to be that or Daredevil, and I would think that Cage would be next. Yeah, they they probably want to save Daredevil because he's supposed to be under a building, isn't he? We saw him in a like a nunnery. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Ooh yeah, man. Luke Cage season two is out in uh, June twenty second. Um, oh. oh, there was a trailer oh my gosh yeah i'm excited for that i really i really liked i really liked luke cage um then after that it lists iron fist season two uh sometime in 2018 not Hmm. it doesn't seem like they have a set a set date and same with uh daredevil season three 2018 but no set date oh punisher season two is confirmed and currently in production no 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 year or anything on that I think, uh, you know, like for a Jessica Jones season three, I would love to see her get more involved in like cases that might involve the other characters, not like full blown. Now I'm, now I'm doing an, a PI thing that involves the Punisher, although that would be kind of great, but maybe somebody, somebody tertiary kind of like you, you get to see in the early, um, comics. I want a Turk season one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. The full season, good. just Turk. No, just Turk. Yeah, 
It's, he, he's got a new car in every episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. He's the he's the only. Well, maybe Hogarth. What does it say? He's he's the new uh, he's the new night nurse, right? Because uh, this is the first time we didn't have her in something. Yeah, exactly. That's what got me thinking about it. Because she, yeah, otherwise she was like the main thread between them all. But yeah, she wasn't in this at all. So I'm thinking it. I'm thinking it's Turk. But Hogarth was in. I don't know if she was in all of them. Seems like she popped Pretty up close. in all of them. Did they have to be in all of them? I don't know if she Maybe. was in the first season of Daredevil. Yeah, that's she... the one I'm thinking. Maybe she wasn't. Anyway, it's not important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't really want a Turk. Unless he's going to wear a Santa cl- suit and stab Daredevil in the gut. <laughs> oh, no. That's coming. Born again. Final thoughts? Anything else? I, I think if you liked... Uh... If you like the Netflix shows, uh, this one's a good one. Yeah, and I think it could be better, but it's still okay. Yeah, it could be better, but it was different enough that I, I yeah, I don't feel like it's getting stale. I liked I liked the push towards character stuff a lot. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> no, I like some of it too. I was not, I mean, I wasn't like dreading the season, but I was not really looking forward to it. And I was, if you can't tell, I was pleasantly surprised. So uh-huh. I don't know why you were so not looking forward to it. I mean, I know it's hard to follow up a tenant, but you know, it, I because wasn't I was thinking it was going to completely suck. Because I didn't, I don't. I didn't really like Jessica Jones. Like I didn't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of her character. And Tenant was like the only thing in season one of Jessica Jones that really like was doing it for me. And even some of his plot, uh, his plot line in that got kind of bogged down and slow. And I think maybe that's part of it. I was worried about it. It was just going to drag. And for me, the season didn't, the season kind of flew by. I think now that they've, has it always been 13 episodes or is that a recent development? Oh, I don't know. Because I think that sped things up where I was just like, oh, it's only 13 episodes. That could be. That could be. Maybe that's the difference, which is good. You're like, you know, don't don't drag it out if you don't have to. You can drag it out if you're like Game of Thrones or something. But yeah. But they don't. They're, they're No. Running. Game of Thrones, they're, they're shortening it up and shortening up. Yeah. Stranger can. Things is doing that too. Each season, it seems like they're, they're shedding episodes. I think the next season is, I don't remember what the confirmed number is, but it's like eight, seven, eight, something like that. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's craziness for the whole season. Yeah. Are they going to do like yeah, the Spider-Man half seasons? Or not Spider-Man. What am I thinking of? Spider-Man. Flash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Flash. Yeah. Oh, well, no. The Flash, Walking they Dead, do... where they do half of half and half. Yeah. They have to, though, because they're still like doing... Like twenty epi- twenty four episode seasons and stuff, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, which I don't mind. We've actually dragged our feet long enough on the recent CW seasons that they're hitting Netflix now. So, oh wow, they're over, aren't they? Oh yeah, I noticed like b- like b- uh, Black Lightning is already uh-huh. on Netflix. So that and it's l- like oh, I guess I can watch that now. I'll just binge it. Yep. So that's what I yeah Black Lightning specifically is what I I started uh, picked back up. I'd fallen off for a little bit, but it's late. It's real late. So, uh, yeah, I got to get up in four hours. Oh, yikes. Oh my God. Okay. That makes me sad. We, we don't have any letters for you, but if you want to send us in a letters, uh, email, a a voice clip, you know, mail it, email it to letters at grolicspodcast.com. There you go. There's my spiel. All right. Yeah. Hey, Jesse, is this, is this, are we doing a promo right now? Wait, which podcast is this? What podcast are we from? I, uh, we're the Twist of My Arm podcast. Oh, then you're Josh. Yes, I'm Josh. Oh, okay. and you're Jesse from the Twist of My Arm podcast. Where oh, we the talk about, other podcasts. Right, and, and we talk about things like this. What is Cassian doing in this movie? I thought he was dead. I thought everybody in that movie was dead. Wait, is this not a sequel to Rogue One? Wait, whoa. We also talk about other things. I mean, we talk about a lot of stuff, really. It's kind of spanning lots of genres, but one thing is pretty clear, and that's that we're definitely nerds. Konnichiwa. Oh, that's fantastic. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. 
<laughs> Sweet. Um, I don't speak uh, Spanish. So. Mother of God, <laughs> I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Grolix has all of your comic book news and things on lock, but we are here to twist your arm into trying some new things. Maybe watching a new movie, maybe listening to some new music, and maybe if you're interested in coming to Denver and checking out the local scene out here, give us a listen. You can find us on SoundCloud and iTunes and most places podcasts are heard. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, where else, Jesse? Oh, man, we're everywhere. We're, we've got a YouTube. Yeah. Best way to get a hold of us is Facebook and Twitter. And it's always a good time. So, again, my name is Josh. And my name is Jesse. And we are from the Twist My Arm Podcast. Send us an email, twistmyarmpodcast at gmail.com. Give us a listen. Give us a like. Thanks to Grolix for playing this little promo. And we hope to hear from you soon. This has been Randy. Summer in New York City. It's hot. It's humid. And everyone's just a little more Grolix than usual. This is Jesse. My days of breaking into places and stealing Grolix are over. What do you need me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some Grolix. Makes sense. This is Melanie. And you're telling me to go Grolix myself? I thought we were friends. Thank you for listening to the Grolix Podcast. The Grolix Podcast is a production of the Electronic Media Collective and Vocal Arrow Studios. For more Grolix Podcasts, visit GrolixPodcast.com. Like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Grolix Podcast. Or follow us on Twitter at Grolix Podcast. We're also everywhere. All the time. All at once. Why are you doing that so late? That's my, that's my mom. That's a pretty good impression. She sounds kind of like a, uh, it's like a, a demonic Cheech Marin. Yeah, that's that's you know, well, not as cool, but yeah. <laughs>